Amputation is a life-altering event. More than losing your hand, it can mean losing your job, your favorite activities. As current prosthetics can only do a few grasps, many things become more difficult. But it doesn't have to be this way. At Invictus BCI, we do right by amputees. Our first product, a non-invasive neuroprosthetic BCI, converts thoughts into action. Hi, I'm Vinny Tapati, the CEO of Invictus BCI. Three years ago, a family member got very sick. It got so bad that doctors had to amputate her hand so she could live. After the amputation, I thought everything would be fine once she got a prosthetic, but it wasn't. Even after getting a premium, state-of-the-art prosthetic hand, she found herself struggling with simple, mundane tasks. This story is not unique to my family. It's a story shared by hundreds of thousands of people. Today, in the United States alone, there are 500,000 upper limb amputees. Every day, 72 people lose a hand. Unfortunately, despite the ever-growing need, today's prosthetics are simply inadequate. The problem with prosthetic hands is not in the mechanics, but in the system that controls the prosthetic the control interface. For extensive customer research, where we spoke to over 180 amputees, clinicians, and prosthetic manufacturers, we learned some disheartening news. Today's prosthetics are capable of only a few basic grasps, so you can't move your fingers individually. They're difficult to control, and they have unreliable performance. Sometimes the hands will just stop working because of external conditions. One of the people we interviewed, Sophie, had to leave her job after amputation. Now, Sophie loved her job as a florist, but her prosthetic just didn't give her enough dexterity to keep working. Nearly 60% of upper limb amputees are so dissatisfied with the limitations of the control interface, they are, they are so frustrated, they just give up on using prosthetics altogether. Not only can this lead to further medical problems, it decreases their quality of life, freedom, and independence. Clearly, people need a better solution, and this is where Invictus BCI comes in. Rather than trying to do a better version of what everyone else has been doing, we decided to step outside the box and explore new cutting-edge tech. We're making a new type of prosthetic control interface, a brain control interface, that'll enable amputees to intuitively control individual fingers on their prosthetic hand. So here's how it works. Our custom headset non-invasively collects brain signals, and our sleeve collects muscle signals. This is decoded in real time by a proprietary algorithm into movements that can be performed by the prosthetic hand. So whereas current control systems are unintuitive, have limited grasps, and are so sensitive to external conditions, we are leveraging hybrid neurosignals to make our BCI intuitive. We're utilizing the latest advances in sensor technology and deep learning to go beyond grasps to individual finger control. This robust framework enables reliable performance. Our BCI is agnostic, so it's compatible with the majority of bionic prosthetics, and it's all completely non-invasive. The total available market in the United States is $5 billion. We have had a phenomenal summer with Delta V, and we're excited to share that our unique sleeve design and custom signal acquisition system uh, both have patents pending. We're proud to share that Invictus BCI has won several awards, and we'd like to take a moment to thank MIT and Cornell Tech for their support. We would not have made it this far this quickly without them. And we're really excited to announce that we have been selected to work with the VA. 
we'll be doing user and clinical testing with five VA medical centers, including Boston's. We're a highly motivated team with complementary skills. My brother and I are determined to make this company a success. I have four years of research experience in neuroengineering and lead the software side. Now, even though he's my brother, I have to admit that Ishan is a genius. <laughs> he's a hands-on hacker with proven skills in robotics, IoT, and design, and leads the hardware development. Our company is named after Henley's poem, Invictus, that celebrates the spirit of the unconquerable, of resilience. No matter how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Right now, amputation is something that has to be endured. There's nothing that can be done to restore your hand once you've lost it. That is, until now. Invictus has the potential to transform the lives of millions of people. So if you're interested in working on breakthrough technology and changing the world, email us at contact at InvictusBCI, or better yet, come and see our booth afterwards. Thank you.